Hello dear students welcome back to this session today in this session we will talk about types of data in microsoft excel so basically there are four types of data actually there are lot of data types or types of data but in your syllabus in your book there are only four types of data so let me open the excel excel sheet quickly and show you those data types so in order to see all the data types you should check the home tab let me zoom in this is the home tab right and the number group okay here is the number group you can see this is number group and this is home tab so in home tab in number group just check this particular option okay now the first data type or type of data is number okay the first data type you can see is the number i have selected that from the drop down menu okay this drop down menu right so what is this number data type what is this number data type this data type or this numbers includes numerals from 0 to 9 so any number that ranges from 0 to 9 is included in number data type and the symbols such as plus okay plus minus okay and multiplication in computer language it is known as star okay star and then division which is slash right these symbols are there in the numbers data type you may also use dollar percentage comma with number values so you can use what you can use dollar you can use percentage you can use comma with the number values by default the numbers are right aligned in a cell now what does it mean numbers are right aligned it means when you type any number in any cell so let me type value in g4 cell this is g this is 4 right so let me write something in g4 or you can see the cell name is here g4 so let me type some value 1 2 3 4 okay and let me click another cell okay now you can see when i click on the next cell the value has been automatically assigned to the right side okay you can see this is the right side this is the left side this is center okay and this is right side so by default when you type any number the numbers are aligned to the right side not at the center not at the left side those are aligned at the right side fine all right now next data type is text let me select the text uh, value you can select it from here so it is text you can see in the in this drop down menu the last option was text what is this data type it is a combination of letters numbers symbols or spaces so text includes what text includes the letters such as a b c d up to z it also includes numbers remember in text numbers are also included and the symbols such as at the rate dollar and then percentage hash ampersand etc all the symbols and spaces by default text is left aligned in a cell text is used for heading titles names and so on in a worksheet so let me show you so the important point over here is text is left aligned so let me write something uh let me write name now this is text click anywhere in the uh, worksheet you can see this value is aligned to the left side now you can take it at center okay it is now in the center this value is now at the center 
you can take it at the right side now the value is at the right side but dear students by default means when you type the uh, it will assign to the left side default okay by default getting my point like this so numbers are left aligned at this side and text value is right aligned at this side next data type is date and time so here you can see date and time so here is time here is actually long date here is short date you can select any one of these short or long date let me select short date okay short date here it is fine so select that short short date uh, let me go back okay in another cell short date yeah here type the value such as today's date 10 dash 10 or oblique 10 oblique 2020 so this is short date 10 10 2020 right and this is also example of date 5 08 2020 so this is also date short date you can convert it to the long date also how to convert sorry okay how to convert to the long date select that cell and click on long date it means 5 august 2020 convert this date to long date it is you can see 10 october 2020 right long date will appear like this so all the all these are the data types last one is formula formula is not actually a data type here you can see there is no such option present here formula so what does it mean by formula formula it is a mathematical expression which includes numbers and mathematical operators in order to perform calculations all formulas all formulas begin with equal to sign for example you can see here I will tell you one example here is equal to in bracket you can write 50 plus 100 so what is the answer of this 50 plus 100 let me zoom in the data so that you can see so is equal to you should write is equal to to make any formula you should write you should begin with equal to so is equal to or equal to 50 plus 100 into bracket right what is the answer 150 okay so press enter you will see answer is 150 right so that is the, the example of formula fine so that's it for today's session we have discussed all the four types of the data types i will write those data types one by one data types okay the first one was numbers it includes all the numbers symbols such as plus minus multiplication division dollar percentage etc next one was text and third one date and time and finally formula okay remember all these four data types everyone so we will stop here today next part we will discuss in the next session i will send you the homework after the video thank you very much bye and take care